Okay, so here I am. I'm starting my new score. I'm pressing uh, right-click in case you're not familiar with how to play this game in order to um, uh, in order to start a store. Um, again, with this game, what you got to do is you got to look for the, the uh, claim land uh, icon. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this one over here. Uh, no real reason. I just I prefer that. And I'm going to claim my land. And it's going to load some data, and it's going to say, hey, you got a new store, you can start building, you got $5,000. Okay, so here's my store. So first thing, obviously, I need is a way for people to uh, buy stuff, okay? So if I go to Furnish, I have a number of registers. Now, this one seems cheaper, but if you look at your workers, in order to hire a worker, a cashier takes $20 a minute, and you need to pay him 10 minutes worth of work. Okay, so if you factor that out, that's basically right off the bat, you're starting off where this is not, um, this is not going to be $1,200, okay? Uh, $20 times 10, that's 200 so that's actually going to be 1400 And so within about 20 minutes, and I'm just ballparking it, but within about 20 minutes of playing, this will no longer be the most efficient model of, uh, and I got some people checking out my store here, but I got nothing for them to buy. So this is not going to be my most effective model. So I want to go with the self-checkout. So I'm going to do it here. Now I'm putting it near the entrance. Why am I putting it near the entrance? Well, this game you have thieves. And so the um, farther away you have your merchandise from the entrance, the uh, less chance you have to worry about thieves stealing it and the quicker you're able to spot the thieves who are stealing it. Right? So I got my cashless, uh, cashless, um, I have my cashless self checkout that costs me nothing. So again, I'm not losing any money. Again, uh, you ever have a business, your number one cost of doing business is workers. I know some people who, what they'll do is they'll start this game and they'll be like, Hey, uh, I'm going to, uh, hire a bunch of workers. No, you want to hire as few workers as possible. Um, and again, this is not me talking, being mean or anything like that. This is me looking at things from a business point of view. The purpose of business is to make money, else you're going to end up like most businesses who are making no money. So um, what I then need to do, again, I need to furnish. And I'm going to look for the, um, the thing that allows me to, to display the most amount of products for the cheapest price. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a freezer. Okay, I press R in order to make sure I'm placing it in the right spot, and there I go. Now, okay, I got an empty freezer, yippee yippee, I need to stock it with something. So I'm going to go to supply, and I'm going to say, hey, you know what, how many items do I want? So uh, it can fit up to 80, so I'm going to start with just 20 to start off with. I'm going to order 20, and right away I get 20, and then it'll say, do you want to manage? Yes, I do. I'm going to click manage, I'm going to click on there, and I'm going to stock it with 20. And it's going to tell me you have 20 of 80, and hopefully people will start buying that. Now, maybe there's something else I can buy as well. As I said before, uh, if we go here to the uh, supply, we can see what we can sell for a cheap price. So candy sells for um, $10 each, and or you buy it for 10 you sell it for 20 okay? And so that's something you want to stock right away. Somebody is going to, I know some people who will look in here and go, hey, these things I'm going to get a lot of money for. Yes, they cost you a lot of money and you really don't start off with that much, okay? Start off with the low end items, okay? And uh, go from there. Now, you'll notice the worst thing you can ever do in a business is stock out. Uh, so you really have to watch that. So I'm, I better buy another 20 items right off the bat. I'm going to buy another 20. Oops, I have to select that. So I have another 20 and I'm going to manage and I'm going to make sure I restock. Okay, so I've restocked that. It now has 26. The worst thing you can ever do in business, even worse than swearing at a customer, is, um, is uh, stocking out. And uh, if you were to think about it, uh, let's just think about it rationally for a second. Um, I'm sure you all deal with some telecommunications company who you don't like who've treated you poorly, well, why don't you tr why don't you go with the uh, nice customer service people? Well, in a lot of cases, at least here where I live, it's because um, their service sucks, okay? And uh, realistically, if their service is no good, like there's no sense in me getting cell phone service with a company who, when I really need it, uh, I'm in a rural area and it doesn't work. And so I'm gonna go with the company who, maybe I don't like as much, but their service works. 
And so the same thing applies in a store, okay? It's the worst thing you can ever do to stock out because basically what will happen is um, I'll have my business and, and think about it for a second. You go to a Walmart and Target, okay? Um, you need an item. Let's say it's a marker. Let's say it's a chocolate bar whatever. You walk into one of those stores that doesn't have that item. You go to the other one, they, they have it. About a month later, you go back or whenever it is, a week later, and again, you go to that first store, doesn't have it, second store does, the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time, from then on, where are you going to go? You're going to go to the one that normally has it. You're not going to waste your time. And so that's why stocking out is the worst thing you can do. So you always want to make sure that uh, you have that. Now, you'll notice they're complaining about the lines. Um, and so the last time I actually uh, did this, I actually... Um, I actually built three shelves worth of stuff and I stock those and then from there I built the second one but I found I had a lot of problems a lot of people complaining rag in my store and basically as you can see I got a 0 0.7 rating right now rag in my store and saying hey you know what this place sucks so I'm gonna try something different I don't know if it's gonna work but I am going to put in a second checkout now I might end up scratching that and deciding not against it but I want to make sure I have good service in my store so that people can come in my store quickly and they'll leave my store quickly and they'll get what they need and my store is not too packed okay which right now I really don't have to worry about that uh, one of the things that you really want to do as quickly as possible is you want to build up your parking lot I found that as soon as I well the first thing I did was I decorated my store um, I've seen a couple um, guides on what to do what not to do and I've seen people uh, saying oh don't decorate your store well the problem with that is uh, you don't decorate your store it's ugly people don't want to go in there so I actually decorated a small store uh, got a lot of stock in and then from there as soon as I could I did a good big sign and I um, did a big parking lot and people were able to um, as a result I started getting a lot more people and um, from there, I was able to make a lot of money because, again, uh, especially at the beginning, you want high turnover. That's another reason why you really want to have um, uh, low-end stock, stuff that will cost you. So I want to buy this candy. So I'm going to look at uh, – because, unfortunately, they tell you, okay, in order to stock certain, certain items, you need to pick one of these. Okay, And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to choose um, – my shelves now right now I can't stock it okay or, or put it anywhere but um, I'm just gonna and as you can see it's gonna tell me hey I'm short money whatever okay one other thing I wanted to show you how to do um, I constantly get people who are like sitting there going oh you know what I put something uh, at the side I'm unable to move it how am I able to move that okay and uh, oh well, let me check that later I'm gonna clean up the spill first in order to clean up a spill you click on it and left click Okay, so there, oops, I better better not stock out. That's the worst thing I can do. And, and again, the best advice you can give yourself is, uh, oh, come on, oh, crap. Uh, uh, the best advice you can follow is advice you give others. Yeah, so Okay, so I just stocked out. That was dumb of me. But at the same time, I am making some money. Uh, we're going to see if that impacts my service at all. Okay. Um, I now have $500, so I can now buy my... Uh, candy shelf so I'm gonna do that and let's just say for first for argument's sake I've put it there how do I move it okay so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna click the move item okay so I'm gonna take that and it allows me and again I press the R button in order to move it around I press the right mouse button in order to move my view and I'm gonna put it there and yay I got that in there I'm gonna want to supply some candy so that when my next group of victims, sorry, I mean uh, people to sell to come, uh, they'll have that. Now, I only have so much cash, so I'm just going to stock it with 10. I'm going to manage. I'm going to go, and it'll allow me to select. I'm going to restock it with candy. So I now have um, the best option for my store. I have no cash. But as you can see, I have this. So what I'm eventually going to do is... Next stage, I'm going to, again, get another shelf. And usually, I found on my last time that chips and food sold really well. So I'm going to be probably going with that. Um, my original buys to get my store as big as you saw it were soda and candy, followed by chips and food. 
And then following that, I actually went up to toys and video games. And I found those really worked. Um, it was actually interesting. When I stocked jewelry, I found that I didn't sell anything there um, for quite a long time until I um, improved my... Um, uh, my parking lot and again my parking lot and my sign I didn't improve um, I found the sign didn't really do much but the parking lot definitely did um, I didn't I didn't really improve my sign until um, um, until I decorated my store better okay so um, I better watch this now I better watch my manage I'm gonna want to buy a little more candy um, it says here I can buy up to eight okay I can buy ten now I'm gonna buy a candy I'm going to watch the manage button. Okay. Okay. Definitely don't want to stock out. So I got that. And again, uh, this is unfortunately what you have to constantly keep doing. Okay. Uh, you have to look for messes. Um, and the first little bit, it, it, the first time I played it, it took about two hours to, um, hopefully this message is appropriate. Okay. Somebody's just inviting you, them to uh, their or people in the area to their store. Okay, and so you got to constantly check this. You got to make sure you don't stock out. Okay, I'm a little low on candy, so I'm going to supply. Uh, I'm going to go to two. I'm going to order. Oops, again, I got to order that. And again, I really want to watch that I don't stock out. I just did there. Okay, and uh, so again, at the at the very beginning, it's it's a little bit tough. Okay, where uh, you're going to find that you're constantly stocking out uh, and you don't want to do that uh, just because of your cash flow. Okay, I'm going to go to soda and I'm going to restock my soda. Okay, and, and again, my store is tiny. Yes, it's very tiny. Um, it's going to stay tiny for a while because what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate it with uh, the best possible products. Okay, I can buy more. I'm going to buy more. I'm going to leave it at 10 for now because um, it seems that when I'm ordering more than that, I am uh, I might be ordering a little too much. Okay, and I'm going to restock that. And I'm going to restock that. Okay. And again, you're going to see cash flow coming in. Oh, now this guy's a robber. As soon as I see him, I want to... Um, uh, left click on them and that'll automatically arrest and again you don't want to buy any staff for this at all realistically you should not be buying any staff um, at all until you decorate your store until you uh, have good flooring until you have 22 foot ceilings and until quite literally because um, again if I go to uh, upgrade Okay, if I were to buy more land, realistically, you should buy the thousand and the two thousand, the thousand and the two thousand. That's that's when you really want to be um, um, what you call it um, upgrading. Okay, now there's just somebody else who's visiting my store. I really don't know why because uh, her store is probably better than mine because um, I'm just starting out, and unfortunately, it's going to be like that. So again, I'm going to restock. I'm going to restock. I'm going to go to manage. Okay, and and again, it'll it'll show you how it's doing. Now this one's getting pretty low, so I want to restock that. Okay, and this is getting pretty low as well, so I want to restock that. And uh, now I'm going to watch my cash flow again. I got three hundred dollars here. Okay, so maybe I can start thinking about furnishing and offering something else. So as I said before, and I go to my supply just to make sure, um, any of the $2 items are really good sellers. So whether that's books, whether that's chips, or whether that's food. Uh, and so I'm just going to keep it at, at chips, okay? So I'm going to furnish, and I'm going to look for something where I can carry my chips. So I have this stock shelf here. That's $600, okay? That'll put both books and chips. And so I'm going to do that. I'm going to Make sure I'm putting it the right way. And I, oops, says I'm a little bit short of money. Oh, okay, um, I can wait. I uh, totally missed that. So books, chips, and food. Maybe I can stock food on one of those shelves. I, uh, oh, that's the build item. Okay. Ah, I can put food on this one. Okay. So I'm going to do that because, again, if I can sell more items, that's better. Okay, so I'm going to do that. 
I'm going to get 10 units of food if I'm able to. How many can I get? I can get six. So I'm going to get six units of food. Oops, five units of food. So much for my math. What? Oh, three units of food. Yeah, my math skills. Them. Okay, I'm going to argue that I'm a little bit tired. Oh, want to clean that up. Okay, it's a small enough store. I don't need people ragging it for being dirty. Okay, and I wanted to buy food. Okay, so I'm going to order that. And then I'm going to supply, oops, I'm going to manage. And I'm going to put food there and it automatically stocks it. Okay, and uh, as I can see here, I might want to supply candy. Um, that's what people seem to be buying at my store. So I'm going to buy another 10 and I'm going to manage that. Okay. And uh, again, you really want to, I, I really like making sure that at least at the very beginning, um, you have these uh, uh, these shelves up to uh, above 10 items, okay? And so now that I've done this, the next goal that I'm going to be doing is uh, decorating, okay? Quite literally making this place a lot better. I'm going to put a plant on this side, plant on this side, and I'm going to do the floors. Now, I better watch my stock on food, so I'm going to get a little more food. Uh, how much money do I have? Ugh, I definitely don't have enough for much anything. Um, that's really not going to do much in terms of my stock. Okay. Yeah, what a hole this place is. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, I'm getting more people here. So I want to, again, up my food. Okay. And I'm going to go to manage and I'm going to restock. Okay. And then same with candy. Okay. And I'm going to stock. Okay. And right now I'm 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 pretty comfortable. Okay. I got uh my two so I'm able to get people in and out quickly. Okay. And uh, quite literally, as I said, the first hour or so of the game, you're constantly doing this. You're constantly making sure that you're not stocking out, uh, so that because you get very few customers at first, so that the um, first few sets of customers you get um, they come into your store and they buy as much as they're going to buy you don't have to worry about them stocking out on anything okay or hopefully not stocking out i did stock out that one time okay and you're constantly and again you're looking eight and nine those are my first two priorities for restocking okay Clean that up. Oops. And then I'm going to restock the food. Oops. And again, when there's a break, I'm, I'm going to show you some of the other things they offer here uh, in terms of other things you can do, which I won't be bo going for a while because, as this person says, the store is so boring. <laughs> okay, uh, it's 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 uh, again. You always you always watch those shows like Shark Tank and uh, and uh, Dragons Den, and I always find those shows a little bit um, a little bit of a disservice to anybody in the uh, business, and especially entrepreneurs, because you're looking at what the person has done. And you're saying, oh, wow, they've done a great job. But the thing is, you only see the final, the, uh, the uh, final, um, the final outcome, okay? You only see the uh, thing. You don't see the work uh, that's gone behind it. Just think of yourself, okay? Uh, most of you are either in school or have taken school at some point. Uh, you do a project. People see the, uh, the great work you do on that project, or hopefully it's great work you've done on that project. Okay, and uh, they don't see the uh, three hours or two hours or one hour or whatever the time is that you spent on that. Um, and they only see the final effect. Um, I, again, I could just fast forward this video. And again, if you, if you find this boring, feel free to fast forward it to the end. But uh, I really feel it's important for you to see the, um, the effect, what you have to constantly do for that first hour, for that first two hours. And again, with my other store, I found it took about two hours for me to get up and running uh, so that I was able to all of a sudden within about four or five hours, I think I got it where where um, uh, the final store was that you saw where I was just in now. Um, 
So yeah, um, again, you're, you're noticing my cash flow is going up. And again, right now, what I want to do is I want to make sure I'm fully stocked before I spend on anything else. Okay, uh, that's my chief goal. So I'm constantly, again, checking for messes. One of the reasons why I'm here in the front is so that I can quite literally, I can check, okay, if there's a mess on this side, I can see it. If there's a mess on this side, I can see it. I can check on my, um, I can manage my stock. I can see here, for instance, candy's low. And also so that I can see if a robber comes in, I can take care of them very quickly. As you saw with that one robber, I only caught them when they were about here, but they didn't take anything from my shelves. And again, um, if you don't catch them right off the bat, they are going to take stock from your shelves. You catch them, one of the uh, flaws with this um, uh, Roblox simulator or whatever you want to call it is the fact that you don't get those items back. Okay, it's not like in the real world where you catch the person and, oh, what did you steal? And you're able to get that and restock the shelves with it. No, once that, that robber steals it, even if you catch him or her after the fact, which in this case, it's only a, a male robber, at least um, the five or six hours I've played, it's only been a male robber I've seen. Uh, once you catch uh, that person, then um, you don't get the items back. Okay. So you'll see I have $570. Now, um, again, I've seen what people have said and they've been like, hey, you don't you don't need to decorate. Well, again, I, I strongly disagree with that, okay? Um, first of all, you're going to need storage because eventually once you start getting people in your stores, you're going to need storage. You're going to need an office desk to get a manager. Trust me, very important. The manager, not specifically, but in terms of workers, um, I strongly recommend... Um, you have once my store over there, I had one janitor, I had three restockers, I had one guard. I eventually did have a manager. Now, in order to hire the restockers, um, you need to get a manager, I believe, um, or at least to manipulate what the restockers do. I could be wrong with that. But um, I remember I hired a manager and then I ended up firing him. Uh, but I have uh, right from the get go, I had the restocker and um, that restocker was there for a while. Okay, uh, I'm going to check on my stock because that's the one thing I need to be uh, concerned about. So I got my soda, I got my candy, and uh, I got my food. Okay, and now I'm going to restock it. Okay, so I got my soda. Oops, my candy is really low. Okay, and my food is getting pretty low. Okay, and I think even now my candy is getting really low. So I'm going to supply it. And you're you're going to see this start happening again. Eventually, you're going to want to move to 10 buy but or, or sorry 20 buy it right now i'm buying 10 at a time eventually you're going to want to move to 20. okay um but again my cash is going up and as it is what i want to do is i want to make sure i have more and more stock until oops until i finally have enough stock where um quite literally all my shelves are full and I don't have to worry about stocking out anymore. I have enough stock so that I don't even have to press supply and buy. I can just uh, stock it, okay? And then I can start worrying about decoration, okay? And you'll see my rating is about 2.1. Normally, it stays around here as I'm doing this. Um, I'm going to put in flooring. That'll make it a little bit better, but really, it's going to stick around that too until I make the store bigger, okay? Now, one thing, you can take out the roof. You can take out the walls. Uh, you can take out the flooring and... Well, actually, I don't know about the flooring. I haven't tried it, but definitely with the roof and walls, people will still walk in and, and shop. You don't have to worry about uh, rain spoiling your food or anything like that, which, yeah, not really realistic. It's a glitch in the game. Maybe they'll fix it in updates because it does look like this person updates the, uh, the game who does this. But at the same time, good to know, uh, especially for when you're starting so you don't have to waste your money on... Um, uh, what I did, which is one of the reasons why it took five hours, where I um, bought walls and then tore them down, bought roof and then tore it down. Okay, just uh, in my view, you go for the very best of the best right from the get-go. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to constantly restock. I'm constantly facing forward so that uh, if I get a mess, I can, again, make sure I clean it up really quickly. If a thief comes in, I'm able to click on him and uh, make sure of that. Again, I'm looking at supply, and I can see, hey, I can buy 770 items. So, again, I'm going to buy 20 more of that, 20 more of that, and 20 more of that. Okay, and again, you'll notice my storage units. Again, uh, once you expand your store right to the edges, as I noted, uh, you're going to want to uh, 
get um, storage right away because again uh, the last thing you want to do is have an issue where you can't store your items okay so candy I'm good candy I'm fully stocked and that's where I want to be okay food I'm fully stocked that's where I want to be okay so right now the only thing I really need to supply is uh, soda so I'm gonna increase that to 20 okay now can't buy that yet but um, I'm assuming uh, I eventually will so I'm gonna go to my manage button and again, as I said, you find this part boring, just fast forward ahead. I, I feel it's important for people to see how long this takes. Okay, I know some people have played this game. Oh, it's really, really hard. Well, no, it, it just takes a while. Okay, it'll take you, it took me with my first one about two hours to figure it out. Um, and uh, this one, I'm, I'm aiming for an hour. I'm at 25 minutes, so I still got um, 35 minutes to get it where I finally am starting to grow. Okay. Again, I thought that was a robber, so I was going to click on him, but he's not, okay? So, I'm going to check my um, thing I can order, okay? My my cash, as you can set here. Oh, got to buy my soda, okay? And um, I currently have $50, so I'm just, I'm just going to continually buy in that sort of quantity, okay? I got 20 there. I restock that to 29, and I've restocked that to 30, okay? And so um, I'm just going to keep doing this. As you can see, my cash is growing. And uh, as you can see, um, if you remember from my uh, the earlier one at the very beginning that you were watching, um, yeah, they're going to start ripping your store. And just ignore them. The store is boring. Well, of course, it's boring. A little decoration couldn't hurt. Yeah, I'm going to start doing that um, once I stock out these shelves and once I get enough... Um, Supply. So right now it's telling me I have zero supply. So I want to order 20 of that. It's telling me I have zero supply of that. Um, I don't have enough cash for that. And my food, well, I got enough of that. So I'm going to restock. And this is really what I want to see. I want to see that my, uh, that my shelves are fully stocked before I expand. I've seen a number of people who've gotten stalled where it's taken them 10 hours just because okay they didn't have full stock and they started putting in more things okay and so as a result they needed to expand as a result you had open walls in their store it looked even worse than before okay because i don't know if you've ever walked into a store that's under construction it doesn't look nice okay <coughs> okay so at this point i should be able to stock my fully stock my shelves Okay, which is my goal. Okay, and now I'm just going to watch that stock. And so now what I'm going to do, again, I can manage. Okay, but my stock, my shelves are pretty good. Um, I have the food I plan on getting. Okay, um, I can upgrade. So they allow you to upgrade. And again, this allows you to see if a, a robber is coming in your store. Okay, so that's one of the good things about um, being able to upgrade. Right off the bat, I'm I want to buy land. It'll show me. It'll show me a robber coming in there and going in there. So I can buy that. Um, I can also upgrade by, hey, you know what, get it, get your bigger parking lot. Now, um, when I upgraded the first time, I went for the seven spaces, small paved lot. Um, I found that had a huge impact right off the bat. So that's what I'm eventually going to save for. Okay, and I'm going to be doing that before I get the sign. Again, one of the other options for this is I can up, upgrade the sign. Um, I actually got a small metal sign. I, I might still do that. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. But anyways, let's just go back to manage, make sure that everything's going well. Okay. Uh, again, I'm basically fully stocked. I'm uh, just going to restock that a little bit and I'm good. Okay. So again, we talked about workers. We've talked about furnishing. Okay. Uh, I have three money trees I can do from my other store. Um, I could put that in here. Um, actually, I might just very well do that so that I'm able to get a little bit extra money, okay? Uh, and again, it's, uh, it's unrealistic. You can say, well, it's cheating. Uh, it doesn't really provide you with that much. Um, I've maybe $1,000, which for me is huge. It'll get me moving faster. Um, and again, as I noted, um, it might not look aesthetically pleasing there. Uh, and I don't know if anybody else can take your money. I haven't seen that yet, so 
that's something that um, you might want to try. But as I said, I don't think you'll be playing it that long. I've kind of mastered this game in about five hours. I've built everything. I built that massive store. I could build more, but there's what's the point? Um, so let's just check on the uh, the stock here. Okay, this one's stocking out, so I'm going to resupply that. And this one's uh, looks like it's going to stock out. And uh, this one looks like it's going to stock out. And I better get more candy. Um, and, oh, oh, and soda. Okay, so I'm going to go to supply. I'm going to fill up with that. I'm going to fill up with that. I'm going to restock. And as you can see, as as you, uh, I don't really know what the, the variables are. But I'm uh, just going to clean that spill. But as you start stocking, I don't know if the tree has part to do with it or whatever. But as you start stocking up, you... Uh, or start getting more products, uh, you get more people in your store. Okay, you look at my cash flow, I got 650, that's awesome. So what I'm gonna do now is I get I get to build. Now I can build walls, um, I don't really need that right now. What I wanna do is I wanna start making the, sign, uh, the store look better. And as you can see, um, you don't have some of these items on the uh, ceiling height, smaller height. Um, I would strongly advise you go full out right from the beginning, okay? Anything else is a waste of money and I wasted a lot of money, okay? So, I put my marble, and that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to put marble all over the store, okay? Um, it says right here I got another $500, so I'm going to do that, okay? And you're going to see people as a result. They're going to start visiting your store. I might pick up some of this money uh, if it allows me to. And as you can see, as I'm picking this up, it's a little bit difficult because you can't really tell because there's two variables. Is it somebody buying it? Or is it me picking up? But it does give you a little bit more money. I've tried it before. Um, okay. It allows me to put in more. Okay. And so I'm going to do this uh, all around. Okay. I'm going to get that in. And then I'm going to build my roof higher. Well, I'm going to build my walls. And then I'm going to build my roof higher. And then I'm going to start expanding the store even more. Okay. And as you can see, um, rating is still around 2. Okay. Or sorry. It's at 3.5. Oh, I actually am surprised. That might be because of the extra um, cashless checkout. Uh, I'm not really sure. Okay, there's a robber. I arrest him, and he's gone. Okay, and again, that just proves if I had my shelves at the front, some people are argue you put shelves at the front. Um, no, you don't want to do that because that means that person could have taken one or two of my items. Okay, now I need to restock this. Okay, and I'm out of uh, back room stock not that i have a back room but for lack of a better term so i'm going to restock those oops i don't have enough money for that well at the very least i'm going to restock my shelf okay and there's somebody just checking out my store um i don't know there's like 33 different messages i really don't feel like checking that because people can write whatever they want um i'm pretty sure they're pretty they're pretty good with uh if somebody says something inappropriate, but I've honestly never checked that out. And I don't plan on trying it while I'm running this right now. Okay, so I need a little more food. I'm going to supply that. Okay, and uh, again, going to manage. Okay. Um, what the? Huh. Okay, maybe I didn't. Okay. Let me uh, restock that. And uh, looks like I'm going to need to restock some stuff. Okay, I got enough soda. I really want to restock the food because I haven't done that in a while. Okay, maybe it's because I uh, don't have enough money. Yeah, that would do it. I have 160 bucks. Okay, let's uh, pick up some money. Okay, as you can see, that, that money tree is a, a huge help. Okay, because right off the bat, now I go to 420 and I can uh, make sure I don't stock out of stuff. Okay, uh, what do I got? 220. Okay. So I'm going to restock the uh, candy. I'm going to restock the soda. I'm going to buy some more soda. And how am I doing with cash? Uh, I need some more money for my money tree. <laughs> I think I'm a politician. Okay. And you might say, oh, politicians don't have real money trees in real life. Of course they do. Uh, it's called taxpayers. So. <laughs> Uh, or, or as they would put it, revenue generators. <laughs> I heard one politician say that in, in the current jurisdiction I'm in, and I was like sitting there, I was going, are you, are you, are you kidding me? So, 
found that rather insulting, but oh, whatever. They're in power. I'm not. Maybe they know better. Um, okay, so um, again, as I said, I'm, I'm constantly checking on this. You'll see I have money now, so every chance I get, um, and again, it's it's that old adage. Um, uh, what's that saying? Uh, you do the big things first, you do the small things later. Uh, I actually heard one story once where uh, some prof, uh, he showed a glass and uh, he filled it full of big rocks and he asked somebody, is it full? And uh, he asked this class if it's full, and the, the class said, yeah. And so he took some sand and he poured it in, and he was like, is it full? And a uh, couple, couple, uh, couple students were like, uh, probably not. And he took some water, and he, and he poured that in. Okay, and uh, again, the point was, uh, uh, you don't do the big things first. Uh, they'll never fit in. Okay, and it's a, it was a good, it was a good analogy. Um, I obviously like it, or else I wouldn't have remembered it. Okay. Um, I might end up stopping this at some point, because I can definitely hear some uh, background chatter at my place. So um, might get a distraction where I have to stop this at some point. But if that happens, I will uh, I will uh, make sure uh, I come back and uh, do the rest of this. And well, I, I think you kind of get the idea of where I'm going with this, so you'll see sort of the final result once I start expanding, okay, uh, beyond the walls, that is, okay, so when I build the storefront and the walls. Let's just, uh, let's just manage this and uh, make sure, uh, as you can see, I'm constantly restocking, constantly making sure my money's up to 390, which is good. Uh, let's change that a little and get some more money. Okay, and you'll see those dollar bills going away into my pocket and uh, my cash flow going up as a result. And uh, again, I got some more soda. I'm going to restock that. Uh, let's supply myself with some candy. Oh, I got candy. I got, I got what I need. So I'm going to restock that. I'm going to restock that. And uh, looking at my cash flow, well, I got 890. I can buy another uh, another marble. Okay. And again, 37 minutes, and uh, I've basically done all. Hopefully, that doesn't cover that. Okay, that's good to know. It doesn't cover your cash when you put a, a little piece of thing there. Okay. And so, um, now this is not bad. Uh, again, except for the uh, big store over here, which I'm pretty sure that guy knows what he's doing to an extent. Um, I got. Um, what I have is I have a 3.5 rating, which uh, again, considering I've only been played playing for uh, 37 minutes, um, that's not bad. So I'm going to restock again. Um, and as I noted, I'm going to be doing this uh, for a little bit longer. Uh, I anticipate again, my goal is to be able to expand buy about the, uh, I probably should save, I always tell everybody, you want to save every five minutes, I haven't done that yet, so I'm going to save in my third slot, but uh, I can build uh, more flooring, so I'm going to build more flooring, okay, and as you can see here, um, I almost have all my flooring done, okay, for now, obviously, I am. I have a lot to expand, okay, I have 460 bucks, uh, so I want to pick up some more cash, there we go, 660, that allows me to put two more. Okay, and again, stay away from the wood, stay away from the carpet, stay away from the stone, stay away from the concrete. Just think of it like this, okay? Um, I know many people who are in real estate. Okay, and again, look at my rating, it's 4.5. Uh, that's ridiculous, that's higher than the guy who's actually making money. Okay, um, and that's because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm setting up my store well, okay? Um, you know, anybody who's into real estate properly in the real estate, what they'll do is they'll buy a shack. Um, they'll turn that into a really nice place. So they'll renovate it and then they'll jack up the rent by like three, four or five times. Okay. And so they're able to get their money back right away and then they're able to make a profit really quickly. Okay. That's how it works in real estate. Um, I'm pretty sure that's how uh, Donald Trump was able to make his money, uh, irrespective of what you think of him, uh, irrespective of the fact that he did lose money at one point, uh, he was able to make it back. So, uh, and again, I'm not pro, I'm not against, I'm just looking at him from a business perspective. So, 
Okay, so I got a five rating now. That's the highest you can get. Um, and again, that's because of my flooring. Okay, at this point, um, really the only thing I have left to do is um, make sure my, my shelves are fully stocked. Okay, so I'm going to need to buy a little more supply. Um, I got to wait until I get more cash. Let me pick up some cash for my money tree. Okay. And again, this is helping me a little bit more than it would uh, if you're a noob, which I, I totally get that. But at the same time, uh, um, I already have my store at full max. I don't need to do this. So it's just to show you um, what to do. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna buy some more stock. Okay, I'm going to restock my shelves. Okay, my soda is getting pretty low, so I'm going to actually have to buy more supply there. Okay, or candy, I mean, sorry. So I got that, and nope, I can't buy that yet, so let me manage. Okay, but I'm basically at the point now where I can start expanding my store. And again, you want to, I, I found the best way of doing that is expanding sideways. Um, that way you're able to watch everybody as they're able to come in and not. And you're able to, more importantly, as your store gets bigger, you want to put more of these machines out. Okay, one of the big things is the fact where, one, you don't want them unhappy that there's not enough lines. Two, um, you want them out of your store as quickly as possible. You want them to buy, 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 and then when they're done buying, you want them gone. Okay, that way you're able to... Um, get more people in the store it's not able it's not going to be as crowded so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to build and i'm going to start getting rid of these walls i'm going to i'm going to go this way now you have to be careful about this okay um since i've done this one of the things that will happen is you'll have robbers that i've seen a robber come in through this way okay so one of the first things you're going to have to do is you're going to have to build a wall as i said you want to build a wall that's really really large okay so you, you don't want to go for the 14 or the 12. Let's just spend all the money right now, get it right, so we don't have to build it again, okay? So I'm going to, oh, would help if I actually upgraded and buy more land. Okay, so I'm going to buy more land. Okay, uh, I'm going to go over here. Now, do I have $1,000? Yes, I do. So I'm going to click on that. Do you want to buy this plot of land? Yes, I do. And then from there, I'm going to go back to manage. Make sure there's no robbers in my store. Uh, pick up money for my money tree, which I'm going to move so that it's out of the way of that shelf. And then from there, I'm going to, while I'm watching for robbers, because I, I don't know, well, as I was saying, as, a, <laughs> as I was saying, uh, I find that this is the time that they usually come in. I also find they show up a lot when you have guests um, so other people visit your store um, I don't know why um, you'll actually get points um, oh gosh did I buy the right thing I hope I bought oh yeah I did okay uh, you actually get points now I don't know what those points you'll see the the thing continually coming up here I, I don't know what you do with those points so probably somebody else is, is saying hey you can do this with those points but whatever okay so um, I now have this I'm gonna I'm going to continually build this. And again, I, I usually put doors here. Okay. Oops, I got a spill. Okay. Uh, and again, I could use some more money. Okay. And uh, again, once you get a store, you're going to get a ton of these. I have one in my, or two in my other store. Uh, I honestly used it for decoration because I really had nothing else to uh, decorate. Okay. So I built that wall. I'm not going to build a wall here. As I said, um, there's no point in doing that uh, I did that the last time and it was it was so much money wasted same with the roof okay I'm, I'm gonna actually build these walls better eventually and I'm gonna have them higher but for now I just want to expand my store as quickly as possible okay and as you can see there's somebody who's running around and flying around my store one of the other guys um, so I'm gonna constantly watch my uh, cash again as I said I'm, I'm gonna do this for about an hour just to sort of show you um, how to do this. As I've said before, we can move our things. So you know what? I'm, I'm going to move that now. Because um, I, I really don't need the uh, the uh, the cash thing yet. So I'm going to move that over here. Okay. And uh, as a result, I'm going to be able to pick up my cash easier. Okay. Now I'm, I'm going to go back to here and look at watch my store from there at some point. But for now, as I'm building... Uh, more flooring 
Uh, I'm going to go over here. Okay. And again, the guy who uh, robs your store, because I saw this guy with a hat, but um, sometimes he'll wear a hat, sometimes he won't, sometimes he'll wear a, um, a bandana over his mouth, um, he'll wear sunglasses, but uh, I always find, at least in this current update, he wears a gray shirt, and um, um, he usually starts right from the middle of the parking lot, so if you have a huge parking lot, you can just stand outside and and get them there but that way you're not helping out with the spills even now when I'm running my store if I'm not visiting somebody else's store uh, I'm helping out with the uh, the uh, spills in the store that way they get cleaned up faster okay uh, so again they're knocking about the place as a whole it's pretty cramped they're gonna continue doing that until you buy more land at this point you can't do that uh, but what you can do is make it look absolutely amazing okay um, at least on the inside, okay? Uh, and so that's what you want with the marble flooring. Okay. And, um, again, uh, I don't have to put the roofing on until the very end, so I'm not going to bother with that. Okay, I got enough lighting as far as I'm concerned. Okay, I'm just waiting for my next round of 500. Well, at the same time, I'm, I'm watch. oops, I'm not watching my stock. That's, that's not smart. Okay, let's, uh, let's get a, obviously I'm going to need more of this. I'm going to need more of that. Ooh, that's, oof. as I said, the best advice you will ever give in your life is the advice you give others. And of course, that's when this guy comes to try and take some of my stuff. Oh boy. Okay, so, and again, I'm a little short on cash because I've been more worried about expanding my store, which I, I really should have been focused on this. Okay, I'm going to want to restock the candy because I can tell you right now that's probably pretty low. Yeah, as you can see, uh, sodas I'm okay for now. Um, so, I'm going to restock these for a little bit, and then from there I will, uh, so let's go a little more candy. And I'm also going to do um, restock the food when I get a chance. And uh, yeah, there I go. Okay, I'm able to do that. Okay, restocking that. Restocking that. And as I said, you, you don't want to stock out of anything. So the fact that I can buy or I, I need to buy more soda, I'm going to do that first. Okay. Now, obviously, I could build my store. And as you can see, this is a real building that falls down. Uh, and I got another 13 minutes. Um, again, I could go longer, but again, I don't really see the point. I, I think you kind of get the idea of how to run this. Uh, again, you can climb up on the trees and the shelves if you really want to. Um, that's what the space button's for. Again, you're going to hit your head if the uh, roof is this low, but up here you won't, and you'll be able to climb. Usually what I sometimes do is I'll stand on my soda pop machine, which I find is near the front of the store in my other store, and I will watch as people come in, and I'll tell them about my YouTube channel. Um, uh, I noted I was going to make a video on this. Uh, because I had a number of people coming in and asking, how's your rating so high? How are you able to have so much cash? And I told them, and they're like, wow, how long have you been playing? And I was like, uh, five hours. <laughs> so, and again, this gives you an idea of how to get started. Once you get started, you're usually good, um, I find. So uh, let's manage. Let's put some more. Oh, don't have more stock there, but I have more stock there. And I have more food. Okay. And I need to restock both my candy as well as, I think I need two units of soda. And I'm going to manage. That's fully stocked. And that's fully stocked. And now time to expand more. Okay. So, um, again, you want to have a variety of things when you first start off. Okay. So I'm going to furnace. Oh, actually, first thing I want to do is look at my supply. Um, books would be something else I can sell for very cheap. And chips are something I can sell for very cheap. Okay. So I'm going to look at my cash. I got 780. 
that definitely gives me enough to buy um, the shelving for that. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put that here, and I'm going to put that there. Okay. And then from there, I'm going to decide what I'm going to carry. And again, I, I find, um, I, well, I use chips. I kind of had it originally that my store was a, a food store. Um, I don't know if that has any impact on it or not. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some chips. Okay, and I'm going to buy some more sodas. Oh, I guess I can't buy that right now. And I'm going to manage, and I'm going to put my chips. Now you have to be careful on this. Make sure you put in the right thing. Okay, hopefully they're not taking my cash. Okay. Maybe they are. I don't know. Okay, I'll probably look back and be able to see that. Oh. Okay. One thing I find that's always funny is uh, sometimes these guys will say, oh, it's nice and clean in here, and then they'll make a mess, or they'll say it needs to be clean in here, and they'll make a mess. I always find that to be interesting because it's, uh, how'd you say, hypocritical? <laughs> But, uh, again, okay, so I see grays coming in. I got to watch. But, again, as you see, my, my, my traffic flow is starting to show up because the more items I, I offer, I believe there's a variable in this um, simulator or whatever you want to call it where the more items you offer, the uh, better it's going to be or the more interest people will have in it. Okay, so I got to restock my chips, got to restock my food. Okay, don't have enough of that. So I am going to restock what I can. Okay. And at this point, I probably want to take up a position over here. That way I may better able to see my uh, stuff. Okay. Well, actually, let me pick up the cash first and then I'll... Okay. And again, as I said, once your store is as big as mine was in the, in the beginning, uh, yeah, this is pocket change. This is really not um, something you're really worried about. Okay, so you always want to have supply here too, because sometimes you'll go lower and you don't even realize it. Okay, I got to watch my storage units though. Okay, I'm buying in units 20, so one of the next things I might want to get um, is actually um, a place to store stuff. Okay, but I'll worry about that later. Let's make sure I'm not going to stock out which uh, I really doubt, especially the soda. Soda I find is really good because that is one thing. You're selling 80 items, and it'd be nice if you were able to sell like a lot more um, in terms of shelves. Like uh, hopefully they'll bring in um, additions where you can put on more shelves, higher shelves or something like that. Because uh, realistically, it'd be nice where, as opposed to constantly having to click um, on the shelves to manage them. Um, instead of having to do that, you have more items, so you can just do one big um, restock and then not have to worry about it. Again, uh, I found this guy, you're going to get that, where, hey, this place is pretty small, hey, this place is a hole, hey, this place is pretty camp cr cramped. And so you're going to get your customers saying that until you actually expand it, um, not just width-wise, um, I'm calling width-wise to the sides, but uh, lengthwise as well. Once I expanded it to three, um, where I bought three uh, deep, then I, I found I had no problems. I, I didn't even stop. I didn't even do two, though, so I don't know. As you can see, this guy here, I'm pretty sure this guy has a really big store, although I'm surprised that his rating. Uh, that'll be interesting. If it goes up to five, then he knows what he's doing. If he doesn't, then, uh, well, he... He doesn't, obviously. So, okay, I'm gonna restock these. And again, I'm running. Oh, okay. One of the good things I like about this is, as you see uh, a robber come into your store, you can uh, arrest him. And again, only get one security guard. I find they are quite incompetent. Okay, um, it's not their store. They don't care. So, like most employees, they're, they're gonna do the bare minimum necessary. Okay, uh, and again, I got another five minutes. Oh, as you can see, he starts changing his design. Now he has a mask over or a, or a, or a bandana over his face. So hopefully you don't recognize him. Okay, um, again, just watching my supply. 
want to make sure I'm fully stocked. And so I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And I am good. Okay, and at this point, I'm going to, oops, this guy made a mess. I'm going to make sure I pick up all my cash because I want to spend a little bit more now. Okay, I'm fully stocked up. So anytime you're fully stocked up, the next thing you want to do is expand. So, um, oops, I need to go to the build. And I'm going to put that there. Check my cash. I got a 1,000. So I have enough for... Okay, and I can put something in there, and I'm going to put books in there, because as I said, uh, you want to have the low-cost items. Yes, you don't get as much of a return on that, but they sell quicker when your store is like this. Now, as I said, you'll see people entering through here, okay? And now, you might be tempted to put a wall through there, but I found when I originally had a wall... I found that this area became a bottleneck. It was really crowded. And even when my store was bigger, that was a big problem. So what I actually start started, I did, and uh, I do this now is, what I do is I have glass, glass, wall, or sorry, doors. Okay, and so uh, all, and it looks better. If you remember my store, uh, even looking at this guy's store, okay, he has a bunch of glass, but I found that it, it really packs up in and around there. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to go to my uh, glass item and I'm going to put doors there. Okay, uh, it says I need another 90 bucks for that. Let's see if I can get enough money from this. Because nobody's buying right now at the moment. Ah, okay, that should be enough. Okay. And there I go. So I got my money tree and I just want to put in one more shelf. I got three minutes to get enough money to put in one more shelf, uh, put in books, and then I'm good. And as I said, you can move everything. So if I want to move these shelves, I can. Just going to make sure I have enough supply. I'm going to restock. I'm going to restock. I'm going to restock. Okay. And I'm going to want to buy a little bit more supply for candy. And again, I want to restock that. Pick up a little more cash. And hopefully, I'll be able to get enough cash so that I can build my last shelf. Which again, that's one of the more expensive shelves. The uh, display shelf. Well, I guess it's not one of the more expensive. Um, clothes rack. Um, yeah, these racks are all... But again, the problem with these is these all carry uh, more expensive stuff. And again, I had separate rooms for that. I didn't really need to build them. Uh, these are some of the other items. I find the side plants look really well. I usually... Uh, in my other store, I put one there. Uh, the fountains look really nice as well. Um, this golden statue, it says you earned it by being a beta tester. So I'm assuming that's for the next, um, that's when they do the next updates. Uh, seeing that it actually works, seeing that there's no uh, glitches. Uh, my computer's slow enough as it is, I don't need to do that. Although, who knows, maybe I will in the future. Okay, so I'm going to put my books thing there. Again, R to make sure it's set up right. I'm going to clean up that spill. I'm going to go to my supply. I'm going to buy some books. I don't have enough money. <laughs> Which seems to be the constant. Now again, uh, realize the robbers can come in through both ways. Oh, and here comes a robber. He has a black patch, so you don't recognize him. And again, another reason why you never put items at the front of your store. Okay, You're able to see the person as they come in. The only thing that they have here is places for them to cash out at. Okay. And so I'm going to buy some books. So let's supply some books. 
and I have a few seconds left to make my thing. I'm going to manage. I'm going to put my books there. Restock. And I now have a store at the uh, one hour mark of this video, which is about to stock out of candy. But uh, besides that, is uh, set up pretty well to be successful. Okay. Um, again, uh, not really planning on finishing this one. Well, I guess I might. I might do another video later on just showing what the end result was or something like that. Um, or I might do it at the end of here. I don't know. But uh, for now, you kind of get the idea of how to be successful in... Um, Roblox, uh, what's this called? Re Retail Tycoon. Okay. Um, and eventually I'm going to keep thing again. You don't really have to worry about hiring staff until you improve the parking lot. Once you improve the parking lot, that's where you want to uh, uh, hire restockers. Okay. You're going to need to hire restockers. Okay. So, and again, janitors I didn't do until I had my store at like massive where I had nothing better to do. And I just wanted to, to be honest, I wanted to visit other stores. That's why I hired janitors and that's why I hired a, a guard. Okay. And again, the cashiers, why? Okay. It's not worth it. Okay. Uh, you need a restocker. You need a manager. And actually, you don't even need a manager. Okay, you hire a manager so you can get the restockers, fire the manager. You need one restocker. Once your store is as big as mine was at the beginning, then you get three restockers, you get a manager. You don't need a guard because you can stand outside and watch now. If you're going to be distracted, um, then you get a guard, you get a janitor, and uh, you can visit other stores. Uh, they need a few more things in there, but in terms of all the apps or whatever you want to call it for Roblox, this is one of the best. Anyways, I'm going to stock my stores one more time. I'm going to save it and we're going to call it a day. And it would help if I actually bought supply to stock it. So, going to do that. Going to do that. And I have to be careful I don't overstock. Okay, so I want to go to manage. Okay, right click in order to maneuver and I'm just going to restock everything and I need more chips and books oops manage let me buy more chips as you can see, I really need another inventory shelf. So the um, next thing I'm going to do is, uh, or the next thing I'm going to build is a marble slab. I have enough money for that. And the next furniture I'm going to build is storage, which cost me 500 bucks. And that will allow me to restock these um, much more regularly until I expand fully. And uh, I know I said an hour, but I kind of want to show that. So I'm just going to restock the shelves. Okay. And yay, I can now put in a uh, thing. So I'm going to furnish, build my storage, make sure it's the right way. I know this way it looks the right way. That's especially with that you want to check. But again, you can always move the item if you put it in the wrong spot. I don't know if they can make it through there. Like if there's a glitch in the game where they can just walk through or cut through there or something like that. But anyways, no, I'll, I'll let you know.
And as you can see now, when I buy my supplies, okay, so let's let's uh, let's restock everything so that I don't have enough supplies. Okay. And so when I buy my supplies, okay, I'm just gonna. Oops. What am I out of? I'm out of books. Oops, would help if I actually had 20 in there. Okay, I need more money for that. But again, even if I were to, even if I were to um, buy the max, and so again, I'm not going to get the 300 for a while. Okay. And again, I don't know what happens if you buy more. Uh, I've never tried it. Uh, I don't feel like wasting my money now. Maybe I'll try it with the big star. But anyways, um, my name is Screaming Ice Fire, also known as uh, Eagle Scream, also known as um, uh, Falcon Speed. Hope you enjoyed my video. Hope it wasn't too long. Hope you got some info about it if you like this game. And if you don't like this game, um, I don't know, it's a good simulator. Um, again, uh, the replayability of it is pretty low. Because now that I know how to get uh, this high of a rating, and as I said, uh, if I were to run this store, which I, I really don't plan on, but if I were to run this store another four hours, I'd have it up to uh, I'd have it up to the same level as my other one, probably even faster than that. But um, it's not bad, not a bad little simulator. It's free, so you have nothing to lose. Anyways, thanks for watching. Later.